We are being asked to find a z-score that satisfies the condition in part A that 95% of the area is to the left of z. Well, the first thing you have to do in one of these reverse normal problems is figure out whether z is to the right of 0 or to the left of 0, meaning whether z is positive or z is negative. Well, here, if I put z to the right of 0, that would be the area to the left of z. And if I put it to the left of 0, this would be the area to the left of z. Which one of those looks like it could be 95% of the total area under the curve? Clearly, it's going to be the one on the left. OK, so that tells us that z is positive. Now, if 95% of the area is to the left of z, that means this red area has to be 0 0.9500. The reason we call these reverse normal probabilities is that in the probabilities we did last time, you were given z and you looked up the probability or the area. Here, we're being given the area and we're being asked to find the z-score. So when we go to our table, we know that we want a positive z-score. So we go to the second page. And we want to look for not a z of 0.95, but an area of 0.95, 0 0.9500. 0. You'll notice that 0 0.9500 is not in the table. It's exactly halfway between 0.9495 and 0.9505. What are the z-scores that give us those probabilities? Well, 0.9495 comes from a z of point one, uh, excuse me, 1.64, and 0.9505 comes from a z-score of 1.65. So we know that the z-score that we're looking for is halfway between 1.64 and 1.65. Well, one way to find the number halfway between two other numbers is to find their average, their mean. Although this is pretty easy if you just realize that 1.64 is 1.640, and 1.65 is 1.650 and so clearly the number that's halfway between those is 1.645 and that is our answer to part A. Now in part B it's asking us to find a z-score so that 2% of the area is to the left of z. Now Whenever the percentage to the left is more than 50%, your z is going to be positive to the right of 0. Whenever your z is less than 50% to the left, your z-score is going to be negative. The only way to get a little number like 0.02 to the left of z is to make z negative. And we're going to, again, think of our probabilities as four digits because that's what they are in the table. So now we're going to go back to the table, but we're looking for a negative z, so we have to go to the first page of the table. And we're looking, again, for a probability. We're not looking up the z-score. We're looking up the probability. We're looking up 0 0.0200. Well, that falls somewhere between those two values. But here it's not exactly halfway between, as was, which was the case in part A. When it's exactly halfway between, we pick the number exactly halfway between. But here, which of these two numbers is it closer to? 0 0.0200 is, is two away from the number on the left, but three away from the number on the right. So we pick the one it's closer to, which is 0 0.0202, and the corresponding z-score is negative 2.05, and that is the answer to part B.
negative 2.05. In part C, we want 1% of the area to the right of C. Well, if Z is positive, that would put 0 0.0100 there. Or if Z were a negative to the left of zero, that would make all of this area 0 0.0100. Obviously, the second area is way more than 0.5. It can't be a small number like 0 0.0100. So we have a z to the right of zero. We have a positive z, so we use the second page of our table, the one with positive z's. So we're looking in our table. Now, here's what you got to be careful of. Remember, at the top of the table, it's reminding us that the areas in the table are the areas to the left of z. So when we have 0.0100 to the right, it means to the left we have 0 0.9900. How did I get that number? 1 minus 0 0.01. If you have 1% to the right, you have 99% to the left, and these tables are always based on areas to the left. So let's find 0 0.9900, and 0 0.9900 is between these two numbers 0.9898 and 0.9901 it's two away from the one on the left it's one away from the one on the right so we pick the closer one we're going to use the 0.9901 what is the corresponding z score well it's in the 2.3 row and it's under the 0.03 column so the corresponding z-score is 2.33, and that is going to be the answer to part C. The z-score it wanted us to find is 2.33.